few seconds, five seconds. Every day, if your blocks are too much, you have to do rigorously for a little longer time, so that in a short period of time, you come out of this problem. Now, theoretically, assuming that we have made it equalized, the first pranayama, what we found was anulom vilom. Anulom vilom is alternative breathing. Visualize a thread going through one nose and coming out in the other nose. If I pull the thread, the thread goes like this, like this. This exercise, as I reminded you, is not a dull alternative breathing. You have to end the anulom vilom, few minutes of practice with a vigorous blowing out on a long below, so that in the respiratory tract, whatever uh, flims, things which are adhered to the mucus layer will be thrown out and your nose things become clear. Can we do it for two minutes on the long below? You don't enjoy life. 
So it's, it's a necessity that we must do something. Pranayama is the only tool for the respiratory system. Balance everything, okay, you can walk, you can do yoga, everybody, Arabic, and everything. So after <coughs> this, on the long below, the rigorous practice, we went to Kapal Party. Most of the congestion and then the sinusitis troubles and everything keeps in the upper respiratory tract. That's why you get migraine headache and you are healthy. Somebody says, no, I always have a headache. I have a headache in the side, I have a headache in the front. All this you want to avoid, do Kapalvati. Kapalvati is normally we breathe in a sinusoidal curve like this. In Kapalvati, we take deep inhalation, inhalation by a sinusoidal curve, and exhalation like a staircase, step by step by step by step to your capacity. There is no restriction, no regulation, how many times I should do, I should do it slowly, fastly, absolutely no restriction to one's own comfort. Till you don't get dizzy, till you don't get tired. The basic idea of any exercise is to relax and enjoy, not to suffer. Let's try Kapalvati. If even now, if you have any doubt, if you have not understood anything, you are most welcome. It is better to learn few things perfectly than many things imperfect and not do anything. Let's practice Kapalvati. Any of you, any doubt on Kapalvati? You have all understood the procedure? Okay, that's very nice. I'm very happy with you. In Kapalvati, you do not use the abdomen. It is from the chest. If your abdomen is oscillating too much, hold with your hand tight. Let the abdomen stay in one place. There will be a sympathetic, slight movement. Do not worry about it. Some kind of an enzyme 
and some kind of a filtering act. So in this, like the iron smith's uh, shop, use your abdomen as a bellow. You don't have to do conscious breathing. Ignore the breathing effect for some time. Take your pull your abdomen, however fat or thin that you are. Make it as loose as possible. Take it back upward towards the spinal cord. Upward towards the spinal cord. Over a period, period of time, your abdomen should become so loose, it should be like a cloth. One way of easily doing it is, as I told you that Simhasana, evacuate your stomach. You see, each of you should reach a stage like what you see here. It should flex, should not be stiff. How many of you can make it like this? Evacuate first, don't inhale, keep the air outside, let it come later, close your mouth, feel your stomach. should be loose. It should be completely loose. And if you can achieve this kind of flexibility, then you will be able to access the internal organs, which otherwise we are never able to exercise. So every day if you massage your internal organs with this kind of loose stomach, you will never have kidney stones and uh, reflex acidities, indigestion, bloating problems. So every day you should try to make your stomach this flexible position at least once or twice. You can do it when you are doing savasana in the horizontal portion, sorry, horizontal position or sitting in a chair, standing, anywhere you can do it. Your stomach should be like, you know, outside if you put a cloth for drain, if there is a breeze, how the cloth moves so easily, or a flag, so easily it moves, like that your stomach should be flexible. Don't have ten. It becomes tough. 
After all, five inches tongue shapes this five feet body. So if we may bastrika. Is bastrika an understood by everybody? Yes, yep. So it's always beat out when you beat him. Ignore breathing. Okay? Be normal. Pull your stomach up. What happens? I push your stomach in. If you are overeaten, you will vomit. If you are nothing, you will air will come out. So when the stomach is pulled in, automatically the air goes out. Then use this as a piston for drawing the air inside. So bring the stomach like this, like this, like this, like this. Not like this. Okay, yesterday somebody raised a question about Kumbhaka. So far in all this exercise, we have never talked of Kumbhaka. <clears throat> Kumbhaka basically means, Kumbha means a pot. Kumbhaka basically means when you, you breathe in so much air inside that your belly becomes like Kumbha and hold it there and give the internal organs enough time to absorb excess oxygen. The only mode by which most of the internal organs get oxygen supply is from the blood. The polluted blood goes to the lung, picks up the oxygen from the lung, circulates through all the organs, transfers the good oxygen, picks up the carbon dioxide and other gaseous objects, comes back, throw it out from the lung. The conversion process is the lung. But if you have this Kumbhaka, if more oxygen is there, there is a possibility some of these organs will absorb some excess oxygen by which they will be Understood? That is the basic purpose of Kumbhaka. The Kumbhaka has got basically two types. In the original Yoga Shastra, there are only two. Antar Kumbhaka, Bhakya Kumbhaka. There are only two. Further to that, Kevala Kumbhaka, Vis Kumbhaka, Nami Kumbhaka, all kinds of things are within the current age. There are all diversions have come. So let us only stick to the basic, what makes a difference to us. Even within that, the Bhakya Kumbhaka is when you breathe out, don't breathe in immediately, close your mouth so there is nothing inside. That means your breath, whatever is the capacity, you are holding it outside. I breathe out. Nothing. I have nothing inside. The air is kept outside. That is Bhakti Kumbhaka. Antar Kumbhaka is I am being sitting like a pot of water. Antar Kumbhaka. Again, there is no competition here that I should do it for one minute, two minutes. Don't suffer. When doing pranayama, anurom, vidom, you can do it Kumbhaka, but there is a rhythm for it. That means if my inhaling time is say 10 seconds, I should start with the Kumbhaka half the time. I should not hold more than 5 seconds. But my exhaling time should be equal to inhaling time. So 1, half, 1. Now how do I do this second? I can't have a watch. So they say you count when I am inhaling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I am able to inhale up to the number of 20. Okay, Kumbhaka. I count 1, 2, 3, 4. If I am inhaling 20, I hold 10. Okay, now I exhale 1, 2, 3, 4. But what happens? This one, two, three, one, two become very long. 
to they found a shortcut. Instead of that much, you say 1001, 1002, 1003. You are easily able to remember. When you say 1001, it takes a longer time. So you may be able to count only up to 1006. You get the point? You have to count 1, 2, 3 up to 20 years ago, but within the time, you can only count up to 1000 because the sentence is longer. Some people say, what is this number game? I don't know. I am a very spiritual man. Okay? I am only living with mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Govinda Hare Hare. That is one mantra for me. If I am able to inhale for one mantra, one mantra. Somebody says, I am not a Vaishnava, I am a Shaivai. Om Namah Shivaya, Trayam Varnam Mejamaya, Subhandim Gurti Vardhanam Urvar, Om Bhavandhanam Gurti Vardhanam Urvar, Om Bhavandhanam Gurti Vardhanam Urvar, Om Bhavandhanam Gurti Vardhanam Urvar, Om So, you choose what appears to you. There is no hard and fast truth. This is the only way you have to do. If you do the other way, you don't get benefit. The idea is, as a beginner, start with one mantra. Mantra, what I mean, the time factor with a mantra or a count. Okay? Just to guide you. But you have to take care that your mind doesn't go behind those numbers. Your mind should go behind the prana which is going in, the numbers, everything is insignificant. Suppose you find that you totally get disturbed with anything, do approximation. Approximately think, yes, this is what is my limit, I have got hold of it. You do like that. First about 15-20 days, go for this half mantra, antara kumbhala. After you get hang of it, go for one, one, one. And you are not going swimming underwater. You are not a person to go inside the sea and retrieve the pearls or anything. So it is not necessary for us to go for, I am able to hold four matras, five matras. It will do in a long term more damage because it expands the respiratory system and the stomach. All the mucus lining, they get strained. So, as a normal householder, not involved in any great yogic methodologies and all that, let us stop at 1, 1, 1. If you are able to do 1, 1, 1, I think it's very, very healthy, regular, uniform practice. So, when you are doing the room, you know, now, few times, inhale to one side, you observe approximately how long you inhale, hold it for half the time in the beginning, then release it for half the time. But the first of the room, you know, few of the rooms, you should do without Kumbhaka. Depending on the time of the you can do on the room, you know, with the Kumbhaka. Kumbhaka is not useful for all pranayamas. For example, Kapal Bhandi, you can't do Kumbhaka. Bhastrika, you can't do Kumbhaka. It will be helpful for only unknown below and there is Kantashutti Pranayama. This is an antidote for people who snore and then people who don't want their voice box to be spoiled because they are singers or they are pujaris, they have to keep chanting mantra. For them, this Kandashuti Pranayama is very useful. There, you can do Pambhaka. And the next major Pranayama, where you 